will be protected by God. And welcome back to Atreyu News. I have returned victorious once again. Getting a little bit into this NFL hypocrisy and psychosis. Whoa, Judge Janine is fired up. Look what she has to say about the NFL. My thoughts on the NFL is the topic of tonight's opening statement, and I'm fired up. She still looks good. I swear she gets younger by the day. The biggest issue facing our country today is the tiptoeing and political correctness that has brought us to the brink of disaster in national security and sports. The question, do we have the fortitude, courage, and determination to stand up to those who threaten our values? Last night in Alabama, President Donald Trump did just that and took no prisoners on the sports issue and the NFL players who disrespect our flag. Last year, San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who, by the way, is without a team this year, began the protest by taking a knee during our Star Spangled Banner. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag? To say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! Total disrespect of our heritage. That's a total disrespect of everything that we stand for, okay? Everything that we stand for. The fallout was swift and certain. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell called the president's... Breaking. Stephen Curry just responded. Warriors star Stephen Curry has responded to President Trump's rescinded invitation. The Hill reported, Steph Curry fired back at President Trump for disinviting him from the White House earlier Saturday, saying it was beneath his position to publicly attack him. So they can kneel and sit for the national anthem publicly. Yet as soon as they get attacked, well, you can't have that. The Golden State Warriors star said it was surreal for him to wake up and see that Trump had revoked his invitation to the White House on Twitter. I don't know why he feels the need to target certain individuals rather than others, Curry said. I have an idea of why, but it's just kind of beneath. I think a leader of a country to go to that route, it's not what leaders do. Yet he's the leader of his team and he's sitting or kneeling for the national anthem. Is that what leaders do? To face the nation? Trump is facing backlash for uninviting Curry from the White House in a tweet early Saturday. Several star athletes like LeBron James have criticized Trump for the move, with James saying that Trump was using sports to divide the nation. See how stupid these idiots are? They get paid tens of millions of dollars, live on a privilege that we can only dream of. They kneel and sit against our flag, against our nation. It's... Probably the most un-American thing you could do is kneel or sit for the national anthem. And they criticize Trump for dividing the nation. A stupider thing I have not heard of. This is an article from Alex Ramier out of the Wii. The biggest explanation for the NFL's rating fall is probably the most obvious. The product is bad. Well, yeah, of course. You get all these players kneeling and sitting against our nation un-American, they wish to destroy the West, and then the ratings start falling. It's like, well, I wonder how that happened. Yet it's Trump making uh, the country divided, right? Sunday's action was atrocious, highlighted by abysmal quarterback play in empty stadiums. The Rams seemingly struggled to fill half of the 93,000 seat LA Memorial Coliseum for their opener against the Colts, despite claiming they sold more than 60,000 tickets Roughly 385 miles north, it appeared even fewer people stuck with the 49ers, who lost to the Panthers 23-3. So, <clears throat> we see some empty seats, but then it gets worse. Look at that. And God willing, sports are a distraction from the truth. 
and they numb and turn your brain into mush. You gain nothing from watching Goliath humans crash into one another that are all steroided up. It achieves nothing. It's entertaining, but short-lived. This just happened in Belgium. It actually was quite shocking to see this, but I guess since it's Europe and you're not allowed to arm yourself, I suppose not that shocking. But let's take a look. Now, have you noticed what these police officers were armed with? Absolutely nothing. The only thing they're armed with is the stupid vest that they have to wear. So you can spot them from a mile away. But as you can see, they're using their fists to try and take these people down. No batons, no tasers, no firearms, no nothing. So what the hell is the difference between these police and us? Nothing. Just that stupid vest. I might as well just go get a construction vest and walk around on the street. They're probably barely trained as well. Pathetic. Policemen? I don't think so. These are just civilians with reflective clothing. <laughs> 